Welcome to the Innovation Squadcast, making a positive difference in learning through innovation. Welcome to the Innovation Squadcast. Thanks for making us part of your educational PD journey. In this episode, we're thrilled to explore our upcoming book study courses centered around two groundbreaking books, AI for Educators by Matt Miller and the AI Roadmap by Dr. John Spencer. This podcast is not just about the books themselves, but also how you can manage and how you can engage in meaningful discussions and collaborative learning through our structured book study. Join us as we uncover innovative strategies and practical insights that empower educators like you to harness the power of artificial intelligence in your classroom. Whether you're curious about integrating AI, AI tools or looking to enhance your teaching practice, practices, this podcast is your gateway to inspiration and collaboration. Let's embark on this journey together and elevate our approach to education. I am Jimmy Kate. I'm Pam Hewlett. And uh, Pam is our featured instructor <laughs> instructor for our uh, AI courses, but of course, all of the team will be helping and and really looking at, you know, who's your target audience for these courses, who should attend um, this, these book studies, and, and kind of let's get started and give us a little overview of them. Yeah, so this is meant for really anybody, um, whether you're an administrator or you're a teacher, um, really anybody, because AI is involved in education now whether you yes. like it or not. Right. <laughs> so it's just kind of getting some ideas and changing our mindset to kind of accept it and see what you can do uh, just to make things better. Gotcha. So um, we started doing the book study because I am one of those people that I love book studies. Yes. Um, not all people do. Nope. So I figured me and at least five other people <laughs> might want to. So we, we put these out here for everyone. Um, Basically, you can get 30 credit hours. Nice. So for which each is course good or the both of them? For each one. Okay, um, so there's two different ones. So total, yes. it could be 60 if yeah. you did both. Okay, yeah, nice. Because, you know, it has to give you some time to read the book and then also engage. And we want people to actually engage in um, the book study because there are some discussions and things like that through Schoology. So really it just kind of, you know, we want yeah. it to be like if you were in person talking, we would want you to do kind of the same thing, but virtually. Yep. And you'll have the ability to collaborate and mm -hmm. learn amongst your, with your other peers. So uh, there's, you know, definitely benefits for particip participation. You know, you're going to learn about how to use AI, kind of best practices, yes. um, the benefits, the risks, how to guard against all those. And mm -hmm. then really, again, it's talking about collaborating with, again, your fellow peers and getting ideas from each other is, is really how we can learn best. So yes. what is like the key learning objective for kind of these, these book study courses? The first part is um, the BCSD um, AI. AI Nav Navigator yes, yes. Uh, that was created by a team of educators and administrators. Lots of different people were a part of that, and they really wanted to give um, everyone a guide so that way they know how how to use AI and how to use it safely, um, ethically, and just being able to like the equitable equitable use and actually be able to use the potential of AI um, in the best, safest way. Yes, and that'll be linked in our show notes yes. as well. So. And so that's where both studies start. They start with that so that way you can kind of engage in the navigator, which you can actually find in class, class link. link. Yep. yep. And it's under, was it employee resources? resources I, I think so. Yeah. Yes. If you just search again, a AI navigator in mm -hmm. your class link, you'll find it. Plus again, head to the show notes. We'll link it there as well. Yes, we do have it linked. So that's going to be the beginning of it. And then after that, we also have some, um, some options as far as discussions, some projects you might be creating, lots of different choices. So. Very cool. And it's, again, both books talk about generative AI specifically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people have been pretty familiar with that generative right. AI. We have the Reina chatbot through Magic School. Maybe mm -hmm. you could use ChatGPT or Gemini or all the other options that are out there. Um, you know, so there's, again, multiple options with that. And then what PD opportunities do they have, you know, outside of the book study that right. is also available that is also linked in our show notes as well? Yes, because when you're doing the book study, you'll be developing some strategies for integrating AI um, and then also enhancing student engagement. Nice. But beyond that, since ChatGPT is the one that people generally use outside of education, um, we, since we have Magic School AI, yes. we do have a lot of PD opportunities and we um, link to the show notes. We have the August and September um, calendar. So that way you can engage in those. And we have a bunch of Magic School. That way you know how to use it as an educator 
educator or just anywhere in education. And then you can also learn about how to use it with students because it yes. is available for students as right. well um, in a very secure manner. So and once teachers understand how that works, I think I'll be really excited yes. about it. Yep, and keep checking out the podcast. We've already done one getting started dealing with kind of the AI navigator mm -hmm. that we talked about and thinking about implementation. Uh, future episodes, we're just going to start breaking down the Magic School tools uh, that you have op uh, options to, and then also how can you personalize learning? How can you increase engagement? How So there's going to be lots of different episodes. That, so keep checking out the Innovation Squadcast as well. So yes. um, back to the, again, the, the so so I'm excited about this book study kind of, you know, but what's, what's going to be the workload? What's the structure um, of this course? Okay. So um, it will be virtually um, through Schoology. And, and, and mostly asynchronous, correct? Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we do have first, uh, we do have a unified talent link that you can sign up. And there's also a form that once you sign up, you can get, uh, fill out the form so that we can get a copy of your books. The books are included for free as a part of the study. Nice. Um, you can do one study, you could do both. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, they will be open through December uh, just because we had to give it some kind of a stopping point uh, through December. And then we'll probably redo them again um, next after January, I guess, 2025. Right. Um, but we'll also have some other topics available. So that will be, it gives you plenty of time to do it. Gotcha. And then um, let's see. I know that you're going to have some mm -hmm. videos. You're yes. going to have some resources in there mm -hmm. as well. Uh, you're going to have some aha and takeaway moments yes. that's your great section for discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of how are they going to be able to demonstrate their what they've learned? Right. So both of them have kind of a choice board okay. um, that's nice. available. Those so the um, AI for Educators for Matt Miller, there is basically for each of the eight chapters, because that one's not very long. So it's only eight chapters. And each chapter has three different options. And you can pick any of the three. So for example, the first one, you can watch a short video that is linked, um, introducing the basics of AI in education. Um, or you might do a reflection on how AI chat GPT, which you might say magic school, um, can benefit both teachers and students. Or maybe you might brainstorm ways to incorporate AI tools in your teaching practice or even with your faculty, depending on what your role is in education. Right. So that's just an example yeah. of one chapter. And there's one for each uh, chapter. Nice. And then with the AI roadmap, that one's a little different because it's a lot longer. Um, I think it's like 20 chapters. So it's more, he has it separated in parts. Right. Like first part is how will educators respond to AI? And it has, I think, five chapters. And then the second part is how will AI change the landscape of learning? Right. Um, and then the last part is how will AI change each content area? So that last part of it can be kind of more specific to yeah. what you do in education. So it's not like you have to read all of those chapters. You might just focus on what you do. Yeah. And if you ever read a John Spencer book, they they read really well. Yes. They, they flow. They, he talks like an educator. He speaks mm -hmm. education language. And his, it's just really it's a great yeah they're, they're all both really good books but i really enjoyed that yes. one the best out of and they both have a lot of visuals so yes. it makes it really yep. easy to read and uh, like really understand um and then the last part of the ai um roadmap choice board is kind of like a whole book choice so i know when i read a book i usually do a sketch note at the end okay. just because i can't walk around with my books all the time and so i, I just <laughs> yeah, I write down, I write down just basically key things from throughout the book. And I, I just always have that notebook okay. with me. Yeah. Uh, so the idea was, um, maybe you want to write like a blog post. Right. It's just kind of a summary. Um, or, and I do have podcast on oh, here. Come on to the podcast. Yes. Yeah. I thought it would be awesome if somebody did want to do kind of like their overall view of the book that when they're done, Absolutely. they can sign come up, on. um, to, to join us on the podcast yep. and we'll put a link in, um, on the choice board and in the show notes. So that way you can, you can sign up for that. Yes. Uh, maybe you want to do a sketch note. Uh, maybe you want to create a presentation. I know a lot of times when I was a coach, especially I would do a presentation based on the book to kind of pull out the important information for the teachers and staff. Um, or maybe just an infographic where if you want to do it digitally, you don't like to draw. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so just a, a okay. few different yeah. ways to do like a whole book overall choice. Awesome. So it's really just four things. Um, the other part of that is just responding to prompts. Yes. And there's a Google Doc assigned. It's it's all laid out in Schoology. So I think it's fairly easy to follow. And then, of course, you know, we're always open to suggestions as far as changing. Yes. So, um, you know, if you do sign up and you're a little confused, just use Schoology, reach out. 
email, yep. however you want to yeah, do it. Yeah, this is our first iteration. So yes. we'll definitely want any feedback and that you guys have as, as you're looking at the courses and uh, as you go through them. So that's mm -hmm. great as well. So again, AI and education, it's 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 coming. There's you know, there's a lot of um, you know, benefits, there's risks. Make mm -hmm. sure you definitely check out the AI Navigator. We definitely encourage you if you're if you're interested in, in where AI and education is going to go. These are great introductory books and book study. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get again a lot of good PD credit as well. Yes. So, yes, we definitely want you know our listeners to share their experiences and insights. So please reach out um, to uh, to give us those as well. And you know. Signing up, you're going to go directly to Unified Talent. Yes. We'll have links inside the show notes that will take you there, mm -hmm. or just go through Class Link and search them as well. And the inside the Unified Talent has the instructions for signing up. Is yep. that correct? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You'll fill out a form to get the book, and there is a code to join the Schoology course. Perfect. So you'll yes. get that code. Make sure you fill out the book so we can, uh, or the form, so we can get the book to you. Um, and really encourage you to again. Join these book studies. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to share your pot, the podcast and the book study with the colleagues that are interested in AI and education as well. Mm -hmm. And so, these books are yours to keep too. So that's yes. kind of a bonus. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning or, tuning in. We hope today's episode was insightful, inspiring. Don't forget again to check out the show notes. We have lots of resources, including links to the podcast video if you're just listening, and the Innovation Squad Squadcast PD is available as well. So another. PD opportunity mm -hmm. is that if you listen to uh, for every two episodes of the podcast that you listen to, there's a Google form you fill out telling us about what you learned, how what re how you're going to use it, and then you can turn that in and get one hour of credit as well. Uh, make sure you stay connected, subscribe to our podcast on YouTube, Spotify, or your favorite podcast platform to be the first to know about our latest episodes. And we want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to be just part of the book study to be part of the podcast. If you have ideas for podcast topics, email me um, or Pam or anybody on the Innovation Squad. Um, if you want to join us as a guest, we would love to have you uh, share your thoughts with us. Um, and we're excited to engage with our amazing community. Until next time, keep innovating. Bye. Bye.